with the Okay, so step one. You take the port of filter out, use two hands. If there's any espresso that's in there, knock it out into your knock box. And then you have a towel, a dry towel that always stays dry that sits on top of the espresso grinder. And you use it very quickly to wipe out the basket. And then turn on your grinder and begin to pull the dosing handle repeatedly, turning the portafilter. until you're approximately a quarter inch above the top of the basket with the mound of espresso. So at this point you've ground and dosed. Now you're going to distribute this espresso, meaning push it around until it's even and level in the basket. So you use your finger for that and you go north, south, west, and east. And I only pushed all the espresso off on the last pass but you can see it's evenly distributed throughout the basket. And then you have to tamp or compress the espresso. So you use your tamper and you want to hold it like this so the ball of the tamper is in the palm of your hand and your finger and thumb are over the edge. You put it in the basket and it has to be very even and level. We talked before about even and level resistance to the pressure of water in the machine. If you create a hill in the espresso, the water will want to go down the low side and not the high side. So once it's even and level in there, you want to push down on the base of the tamper with approximately 30 pounds of pressure, which isn't all that hard. It's pretty hard, but not as quite as hard as you can push. And then just with the weight of the tamper, you want to turn it two times to polish the grounds that are in the basket. You pull the tamper out and put it back up on top of the hopper. And you can see I have a even level bed of resistance to the pressure of water in the machine. And then I, you do what I tell my two-year-old daughter to do, which is to wipe and flush. At this point, you need to flush the group with this button here. And you can hear the boiling. Right when the boiling stops, you stop flushing. Eat gently, put the portafilter back into the group, and immediately you have a timer that's set for 30 seconds. You want to push this button and the timer at the same time. And if you look at the flow, it's very dark brown and reddish. The espresso is giving a lot of extraction at this time. It's nice and robust. It's starting to get a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. The stream is becoming wavery and then I pull it away. And if you look at my timer, that was around 28 seconds, 29 seconds. If you look at the espresso shots, they're dark brown, they have lots of flecking, and they look beautiful. Let's see how they taste. Don't do this with anything that you'll serve to a customer. It's delicious.